Okay, this is the current startup screen. And uh, we'll take a look at the components that make up the system. Uh, this is the back of the HMI PLC, but that's its I.O. We have the uh, power supply, 24 volts for the system. This is the signal conditioner for the linear position transducer, the linear scale, the keyance. This is the controller for the linear servo. And then this back here is the amplifier for the linear scale. Coming around front, here we have the Keyens GT2. This is a micron level accuracy linear scale. This is the compound probe. This probe changes the tip depending on what it's going to measure. It starts off with a flat tip as seen here and then it converts to a blade tip for a different measurement. Moving along underneath here inside we have a shock sensor and this is used to detect when the clip is, is uh, collected by the fingers of the device. Okay, moving along on the device, here we have the gripper that is going to grab onto the threader and uh, then we have the decoupling slide and this will couple and decouple the unit to change the direction of motion of the driver. Then we have a single acting cylinder to activate the trigger and here we have the linear servo that's used to activate the button. Okay, that's the button that's used to advance. Okay, now that shock sensor that I mentioned earlier that's buried inside here goes through this amplifier, the signal conditioner, and this amplifier is set to a gain of 100 as the level of the uh, vibration detector is very small. We needed to boost it up before sending it to this um, custom board that's used to extend the pulse, turn pulse um, into a step, which will then be um, fed back to the PLC for processing. Okay, so that's the system in a nutshell. Next, we're going to run through the process. Okay, here we start with a full cycle. Um, we're using a used device, so the clip detection is going to take a while. So let's get started. Start screen. And the first thing that happens is that we find a zero point of the tip. This is zero. And then it moves forward to its 210 position. Now it's looking for the clip. Okay, so like we've done before, this is going to take a while. I'm going to let it run through its paces. But on the playback video, we'll edit this dwell time out.
it's detected the clip, moved it to its home position, uh, from the forward, now it's finding home. System's done. To the final stats. 210 position, dead nuts. It took over a thousand steps to get to the clip because if um, we've already depleted um, more than half the number of clips. And uh, the home position is at 3,000, there's still to the rails.